guess she would put a sign on that. Have the head showing it to people. Oh, I better look good. You said that. You got, you've, got a lot of, you've got a lot of cousins that I might want to show this to that you don't know about. I guess I have. Yeah. I know I have. And then there are a lot of them right there in Charlotte. Yeah, of course. Well, you've been everywhere, haven't you? I've been you everywhere. You don't make out the book for the family. I figured that's what you was doing. <laughs> when you asked me dates, if you remember, you know, yeah. she said, do you remember something? Yeah. And I'm gonna I, get you. I'm I said gonna... he is gonna make a book of the generation. I know he is. <laughs> I'm not a writer, but I, <laughs> I'm trying to get down all the information I can. Now. Yeah, well, of course. I'm now, trying to trace the size more family backs. What yeah. I'm trying to do. Well, now I have one of the McDerris family, the Charles McDerris, Uncle Wally's uh, uh, grandson. He he's a he's a lawyer. He's is he? He's a judge. Gosh. Holds out her appointment to the judgeship. Why? I don't know one of the Republican <laughs> one and him, a hard headed Democrat. <laughs> Holds out her Republican. Hold to the judgeship. Can you feed you that? <laughs> but anyway. Let me set this down. If everything's bad, you say, well, don't think it's my fault. You say it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have thought of that in heaven beard. That's cute, though. That's, that's all right. <laughs> I was going to tell you that. You didn't picture me with a beard. Uh, my uh, nephews. Um, <clears throat> now this woman I told you about Taylor's. Uh, Miss Taylor's. She's Taylor's uh, daughter. Norma Davis lives in South Carolina. They lived in Ohio for years and years and years. Raised their children there and all. But they always said they were coming back down here when they retired. They were coming and they did South Carolina. So uh, her brother had four sons and they've always they've been raised in Ohio too, Cleveland. And uh, so last Saturday night, uh, his oldest son was there, you know, and I hadn't seen him in 20 years. Yeah, and he, he knew me, of course, he came to me, you know, and he started <laughs> talking up breeze, and, and I just had fun with him. We just had fun together. <laughs> so after I realized I swallowed his mic. I said, well, why didn't you tell me you was Mac? He said, <laughs> well, he said, I didn't know you told me. <laughs> I didn't know you told me. <laughs> How many children do y'all have? One. And you got one grandchild? Yeah. A little girl? Oh, we don't have a girl in the generation. We got a little new uh, uh, <clears throat> new one in it. And we got a new Spaniard. <laughs> really? On Thanksgiving Day. He was born Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were seeing pictures of him. He's cute as pie. Just uh -huh. he's, a he, he's, really, he's a pretty baby, really. I always said, I told John, I wrote John, I said, don't you remember I told you that he'd be the prettiest baby in the world? I said, I still tell you, you know. Oh, John, he's cute. I found something to send to that baby that just tickled me, and it's going to tickle old John. And it was the least little shirt I ever saw. <laughs> it was just about this big, I say this big. Hmm. Had N.C. stone and the blame little wolf. I say it is you like that tickle old John. Tickle him good. Yeah, George has the two, George Junior and John. And it's George Junior that have been here left yesterday to go to Marion, her people. Or to Marion. To Marion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Her dad is a doctor. In North Carolina? Yeah, Marion. Marion. Up the road. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Up the road well, her, her aunt lives in Marion. Who who were you, huh? Maybe you can do her. Was, uh, Maddie Elizabeth Sizemore, and uh, my, my grandmother was, of course, uh, uh, James Sizemore. What was my grandmother's name? Sally. Sally. My, grandmother, my mother, grandmother was Sally Sizemore. Dr. James Sizemore's uh, wife. And for me, I was born in 1905, November 20th. <coughs> November 20th, 1905? 1905. Okay. Yeah. Birthday, uh, November 20th. And, uh, oh, let me see who else. That's and right. you, you married, who'd you marry? Married in 1927. My son was born in 1928. And who did you marry? Uh, June, uh, June the uh, 15th, the 15th of June in 1927. What's your husband, what was your husband's name? Uh, Marvin Craig Alton, and he was born in 1907. Okay. And uh, 
You had one, right. one son, his name was George? One son, we had one son, George, from 1928, uh, <clears throat> July the 20th. And uh, he has two sons, one born and, uh, on the 22nd of July, the day after George's birthday. And then the next one, he was born three years later, on the 20th of uh, August. And, hmm. <laughs> Is that close that's, enough? That's pretty, that's the good. The years and so on. Yeah, that's good enough. And then yeah. I had two grandchildren, one born in uh, Korea. He, he's five, they have two now, five and two and a half years old. And <clears throat> Taylor was born uh, in the uh, 7th of uh, February in uh, 19 and, uh, oh, uh, let's see, 1986. Hmm. So, okay. You want to tell me something about when you lived up on the mountain? Oh, yeah, well, lived in Matt Darris Cove, was raised in Matt Darris Cove, born up there and was raised there, the oldest of 11 of children, of 11 children. 11 yeah. kids? That's going to be messed up with my language. <laughs> and I, so uh, now there are only five of us in our family living. Did you enjoy living up on the mountain? Big, huh? Did you enjoy living on the mountain? Oh, you... yes. I had friends up there all around <laughs> and had relatives. My daddy's niece, who was uh, near my mother's age, her family and me, we were down the line together, me and her son, and then uh, my brother and her daughter, and down the line, we were real good friends. Friend of the Wheeler family, I hear from them till this day, you get Christmas cards from all of them, those that are living with that family. And we went to the Presbyterian Church, belonged to Presbyterian Church. And uh, to a lot of people's surprise, it was a good it, church. Had more educated people than most little churches have. We had teachers, we had business people, and we had uh, just a lot of uh, educated teachers and so on. It was a good church. Then later, when I married a Baptist, I became a Baptist, first Baptist <laughs> church in <laughs> Delmont. <laughs> well, tell me, do you remember anything about your your aunt, or would it be your great aunt, Frances, that lived up on the mountain? Oh, yeah. And I, I remember well, seeing my aunt, Frances Mitchell, who was my granddaddy's uh, uh, sister. And uh, then her, I recently met one of her great grandsons, which has been very interesting to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember anything about her? Uh, I, I, I don't she, remember she a, things uh, about her. Was she a much. particular I mean, woman? Do you remember? Or yes, she, she is, as far as her children, because she didn't live close to us, and I didn't see her too often. And when I see her, it would be at my grandmother and granddaddy's mostly. So they had they already moved from uh, they had already moved from Locust Cove uh, when you were born, probably right. No, they lived in Locust Cove. They lived there for a while. When I, you? When I knew her. Did they? they? Did. Yes, they did. Uh huh. That's okay. where she lived when I knew her. Okay. And I would see her at, at my grandmother's. You know, but they lived in now they lived in Rutherford County in 1910. So. So do you think they might have moved before 1910? Well, I guess I was pretty little because I was born in 1905. Yeah. And so being you, a little girl, I just can't remember too much. But you do her. remember her. But, yeah, but I will remember her. Do you? But she probably made trips back up there even after they moved. Oh, yes. yes. To my grandmother's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because that's where I would see her. There. Okay. And I... Uh, I remember so well as being a little girl coming up. Mm -hmm. I sure remember. Do you do you uh, want to say anything else before I? I don't guess so. That that will do it for today. You think? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This has been a grand day with my distant cousin and his wife from the Hickory. <laughs> been wonderful. I'm so glad they came down here. <clears throat> I found out a lot of things about my family that I didn't know. Okay. It's been real nice. Okay, I'm gonna to come back. I'm gonna fade you out then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That'll be good.